Ever looked up at the night sky and wondered if there's more out there, like cities full of lights similar to ours? Imagine this. The James Webb Space Telescope has just made a groundbreaking discovery that might turn this fantasy into reality. This isn't just another space story. It's a revelation from seven million miles away that could redefine our understanding of life beyond Earth. Now, outer space isn't just about stars and planets. It's got its own version of city lights, and it's absolutely fascinating. So, if you're excited about the insane revelation and want to find out who is lighting those lights, then stick to the end of the video and enjoy the mysterious story. The James Webb Space Telescope is now unveiling secrets that challenge everything we thought we knew. This telescope is not just a successor to the Hubble telescope, it's a leap forward. It's armed with the ability to see long wavelength visible light through mid-infrared wavelengths. I found myself captivated by a particular discovery from Webb. The exoplanet K218b, a celestial body located 120 light years away in the constellation Leo. What caught my attention is that this distant world lies within the elusive habitable zone of its parent star. The very idea that somewhere out there, beyond the reaches of our imagination, lies a world where conditions might be just right for life to flourish is nothing short of extraordinary. As I delved into the details, my mind raced with questions. How does one even begin to understand the mysteries of an exoplanet? The answer lies in the complex yet beautiful dance of light. Positioned strategically as K218b orbited its parent star, the telescope scrutinized the starlight passing through the exoplanet's atmosphere. It was as if the universe itself held its breath, allowing us a fleeting glimpse into the secrets concealed within the gaseous shroud of K218b. Scientists are getting really excited about the tiny particles they found during their study of outer space. One of them is a special substance called dimethyl sulfide, which we often find on Earth as a sign of living things, especially in the oceans, where tiny plants called phytoplankton live. Now suppose how amazing it would be if we discovered this same substance in the air of a faraway planet called K218b. So. Did the observations from the Webb telescope show that DMS is there, suggesting that this distant planet might be a good place for life? Actually, Niku Madhusudan, an astronomer from the University of Cambridge and the lead author of the groundbreaking paper, shakes us with the promise of confirmation. Upcoming Webb observations should be able to confirm if DMS is indeed present in the atmosphere of K218b at significant levels. Madhusudan declares. The near-infrared imager, the slitless spectrograph, and the near-infrared spectrograph. The spectra of K218b unveil a cosmic palette adorned with the hues of methane and carbon dioxide. Yet, it is the faint signal of dimethyl sulfide that propels our imaginations into overdrive. Beyond DMS, the cosmic voyage yields more secrets. Carbon-bearing molecules paint a complex portrait, hinting at the presence of methane and carbon dioxide. A hydrogen-rich atmosphere above, perhaps concealing a hidden water ocean beneath. Imagine being on the surface of a distant planet called K218b. The air around you is filled with whispers of different gases like dimethyl sulfide, methane, and carbon dioxide. This planet is much bigger than Earth, with a radius 2.6 times larger. It suggests there might be a thick layer of ice under its surface because of the high pressure. Now, we wonder, is it just a coincidence that dimethyl sulfide is present on K218b, or does it tell us something important about how life in the universe is connected? This question challenges our understanding of space and our role in it. What do these gases tell us? Could they be telling a big story about a whole ecosystem on this distant planet, thriving where we can't see it? Or do they suggest a feeling of loneliness in the vastness of space, with K218b quietly witnessing the immense stretches beyond it? Five years ago, NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope found seven rocky planets circling a faraway star called TRAPPIST-1. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope is helping us learn more about one of these planets, TRAPPIST-1b. Using a special heat-sensing tool, the telescope discovered that TRAPPIST-1b is very hot, like an oven set at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. 
But there's more to this story that we're still figuring out. The Webb telescope has detected light emitted by an exoplanet as small and as cool as the rocky planets within our own solar system. Thomas Green, a NASA astrophysicist and the lead author of this astronomical saga, notes that no previous telescope possessed the sensitivity required to measure such dim mid-infrared light. Think about when we first found the TRAPPIST-1 planets. There were seven planets far away, similar in size to Earth, and we were excited because they seemed like they could be good places for life. They were in the right zone around their star, where it's not too hot or too cold for water to be liquid. These planets gave us hope in our search for aliens. But here's the tough part. These planets, like TRAPPIST-1b, are incredibly far away, about 235 trillion miles. Right now, we can't reach them. The TRAPPIST-1 system revolves around an M-dwarf star, smaller and redder than our own sun. As we ponder the vastness of space, Green emphasizes the abundance of M-dwarf stars in the Milky Way, outnumbering sun-like stars by tenfold. Intriguingly, these M-dwarfs also boast a higher likelihood of hosting rocky planets, making them prime targets for astronomers exploring potentially habitable worlds. M-dwarfs, despite their appeal, are not cosmic paradises waiting to be explored. They are known for their heightened activity, flaring and emitting high-energy rays that could pose a threat to budding extraterrestrial life or the fragile atmospheres of orbiting planets. The cosmic balance between promise and peril hangs in the celestial ether. Tidally locked to its star, this alien world showcases a perpetual ballet, one side forever basking in the radiant warmth of its sun, while the other languishes in eternal night. Previous observations of TRAPPIST-1b left a lingering question mark regarding its atmospheric makeup. Could it boast a life-sustaining atmosphere? Or was it merely a desolate rock suspended in the cosmic void? What do you guys think? Let's have a discussion in the comments. Okay, so simulations suggested that if an atmosphere enveloped TRAPPIST-1b, the temperature asymmetry between its sunlit and dark sides would diminish. The air, like a cosmic conductor, would redistribute the heat, moderating the extremes. However, the Webb telescope unveiled a stark reality, a significantly higher temperature than anticipated. The absence of an atmosphere became glaringly apparent, erasing one more candidate from the list of potentially habitable worlds. Yet, amid the cosmic revelations about TRAPPIST-1b's inhospitability, a different kind of excitement lingers. The true marvel lies not solely in the specifics of this alien realm, but in the profound capabilities of the Webb telescope. Pierre-Olivier Lagage, one of the minds behind the Miri instrument, speaks of a dream realized. There was one target that I dreamed of having, and it was this one, he exclaims. For the first time, humanity witnesses the emission from a rocky, temperate planet marking a pivotal chapter in the ongoing saga of exoplanet discovery. Recently, while aboard NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers made an unexpected discovery that added another layer of mystery to the cosmic narrative. I find myself drawn into excitement, pondering the enigmatic glow of methane emissions around a brown dwarf, a celestial body often deemed a failed star. Jackie Faherty, an astronomer at the American Museum of Natural History in New York, told us about the exploration of 12 brown dwarfs using Webb. Brown dwarfs, often referred to as failed stars, possess greater masses than massive planets like Jupiter. Yet, they fall short of achieving the nuclear fusion that ignites true stars. W1935, the brown dwarf in question, resides 47 light years from Earth, cloaked in the cold isolation of space. As Faherty's team delves into the mysteries of W1935, they encounter an unexpected twist. While studying another brown dwarf, W2220, with a composition nearly identical to W1935, they find the expected cooling of energy with altitude. However, W1935 warms at higher altitudes, presenting a temperature inversion. In my mind, I'm with Faherty and her team, standing on the precipice of the unknown. Questions swirl like stardust in my imagination, what unseen forces are at play? Why does W1935 deviate from the expected pattern? On the other side, 
Ben Burningham, a lead modeler of the Brown Dwarf's computer model study, expresses the confusion shared by the team. The temperature inversion observed in W1935 challenges conventional wisdom. Planets with nearby stars can exhibit such phenomena due to external heat sources, but W1935, devoid of an obvious heat source, leaves astronomers with no clue. That's why astronomers turn their gaze toward our celestial neighbors, Jupiter and Saturn. These gas giants boast their own aurorae, akin to Earth's northern and southern lights. In my mind, I visualize the charged particles colliding, releasing flashes of light and heat. The astronomers speculate about interstellar plasma or particles from a nearby active moon as alternative theories. Aurorae, as explained by NASA, occur when charged particles collide, creating a spectacular display of light and heat in a planet's upper atmosphere. While astronomers have previously detected radio emissions from warmer brown dwarfs, W1935 stands out as the first cold auroral candidate outside our solar system with the signature glow of methane emission. Faherty remarks, With Webb, we can really open the hood on the chemistry and unpack how similar or different the auroral process may be beyond our solar system. And here's where it gets intense. Webb has just detected lights from a civilization 7 trillion miles away. That's WASP-96b, a planet that may be home to extraterrestrial life. Can you believe it? 7 trillion miles, a mind-boggling distance, challenges everything we thought about our place in the universe. The telescope not only captured distant lights, but also revealed potential signs of alien life. Scientists are really excited about a new discovery. It's making them rethink what they thought they knew and making them super curious about whether there might be life in other parts of space. Now, so many questions are popping into my head. What does this discovery tell us about the universe? Are we the only ones here, or could there be other living things out there? The James Webb Telescope didn't just see things. It sparked a huge interest and is making us reconsider where we fit in among all the stars. I mean, who wouldn't be excited about the idea of aliens throwing intergalactic parties? But here's the deal. It's not exactly true. I know, bomber. This TikTok video that's blowing up with over 9.2 million views is shouting, NASA just discovered city lights on another planet. It goes on about the James Webb Telescope revealing this groundbreaking revelation from a planet called WASP-96b, which supposedly is 7 trillion miles away and might be harboring extraterrestrial life. It sounds like a sci-fi blockbuster, doesn't it? But as it turns out, WASP-96b is a real planet, just not the city lights kind of place. It's about 1,150 light years from us, and it's not exactly a cozy destination. This planet, announced back in 2014, is a hot mess, with temperatures soaring above 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. City lights? Not so much. Now, the James Webb Telescope is pretty amazing, but it's not catching city lights. It's a pro at detecting infrared light, which is beyond what our eyes can see in the visible spectrum. NASA's not on an extraterrestrial urban planning mission. Infrared light reveals new details and images, deepening our understanding of celestial objects. So instead of party lights on distant planets, they're more like cosmic clues to the mysteries of the universe. The telescope has this knack for unveiling secrets dating back to the beginning of everything. The first stars, the earliest galaxies, you name it. As the starlight passes through the exoplanet's atmosphere and then through space, it reaches the James Webb Telescope. The telescope has these fancy tools called spectrographs that act like cosmic prisms. They break down the light into a rainbow of colors, revealing the secrets of the planet's atmosphere. Now, here comes the cool part. Different molecules in the atmosphere absorb specific colors of light, like a personalized diet for each molecule. If a particular color is missing in the spectrum observed by the Webb telescope, it means that the exoplanet's atmosphere snatched that color. It got absorbed. And guess what? That means that molecule is present in the planet's skies. The spectrum of light captured by Webb showed that this hot Jupiter blocked light waves from water molecules, it means there's water hanging out in its thick, fluffy clouds. It's like catching a sneak peek into a distant planet's weather report. Now, 
The James Webb Space Telescope isn't just here for pretty pictures. Sure, the images are breathtaking, but the real magic lies in these spectra, the lines and colors that tell us what elements are playing around in these faraway atmospheres. This discovery is a big deal because it's a major step in our quest to understand if there are planets out there that could be a bit like home. We've been scanning the skies for a while, and the James Webb Telescope is taking us to a whole new level of exploration. As Webb races through space, it's not just chasing radiation from unimaginable distances, it's also turning back time. It captures light from the ancient past, revealing the first galaxies, stars, and cosmic structures that formed billions of years ago. Can you imagine witnessing the birth of the universe? The telescope's goals go beyond our solar system. It aims to understand distant worlds, seeking signs of life in the atmospheres of exoplanets. Water, methane, these are the cosmic breadcrumbs that might lead us to extraterrestrial neighbors. Have you ever wondered if there's life beyond Earth? Webb doesn't just observe, it has rewritten our cosmic story. It recently unveiled images of Stefan's Quintet, a galactic dance 290 million light years away. Five galaxies, gravitational interplay, and collisions, a cosmic ballet frozen in time. Can you feel the gravitational tug of galaxies millions of light years apart? The telescope turns its gaze to the Carina Nebula, a celestial canvas 7,600 light years away. A stellar nursery where stars, more massive than our sun, come to life. Eruptions, binary stars, and cosmic cliffs, the Carina Nebula holds the secrets of stellar birth and evolution. But the surprises don't end there. The JWST reveals a second star in the Southern Ring Nebula, a figure eight-shaped beauty 2,500 light years away. A dying star, gas, dust, and now a newfound companion. What other celestial secrets lie hidden in the vastness of space? And then there's SMAX 0723, a galaxy cluster five billion light years away. A window to the early universe, telling a tale of galaxies evolving in the cosmos' youth. What else can we find in space? Will the Webb telescope show us more amazing things or reveal planets with no signs of life? Even though space might not be the perfect place we thought, Webb's story, combined with its abilities, keeps our curiosity alive. It pushes us to explore space even more. As we look into space, we're excited to discover new things and uncover mysteries, taking us to places where we don't know what to expect now that the James Webb Space Telescope just spotted these lights way, way out there, seven million miles from Earth, it seems we're finally catching a glimpse of distant neighborhoods in space. This incredible telescope lets us peek into a whole new part of the universe and wonder about what's happening way beyond our own planet. It's like finding twinkling stars that are actually city lights in a place much, much farther away than we ever imagined. Isn't it incredible to think about what's happening out there? If the idea of city lights seven million miles away has blown your mind, don't forget to hit that like button and share this mind-boggling discovery with your fellow space enthusiasts. Share your thoughts in the comments. Do you believe there could be a cosmic cityscape out there? Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of the cosmos.